It's the ability to bring out the best in others that makes you a leader. You should never aspire to become a leader. If you commit yourself, dedicate yourself, devote yourself to a particular goal, to a particular cause, which is uh, inclusive in nature, either it includes a group of people or a business or a company or a state or a nation or the world. If you include people into a certain cause or in other words, if you address well-being, human well-being, not as just my well-being, if you include a few more people, their well-being is included into your intention. Depending upon the level of your dedication and devotion, people will recognize you as a leader. You should never aspire or claim to be a leader <laughs> Others should see you as a leader because your level of commitment, devotion and dedication to what you're doing is much more intense than anybody else around you, that makes you a leader. What about competence? Yes, competence is very important, but believe me, competent people can come and go in a movement. In… in our commitment to success of a certain cause, many people who consider themselves competent may come and go, but it is the one who is absolutely devoted to a cause which is inclusive in nature, who will get recognized as a leader. Well, some may get selected, elected, chosen, dropped upon you because of their genetic material or uh, their parentage. Well, they will suffer their leadership. And of course, they will make people also suffer their leadership because when a leader is not committed to what he is standing up for, then it's suffering for himself and suffering for everybody who unfortunately happens to be around him. So leadership is not uh, a way of uh, throwing your weight around. Leadership means life offers you a perch. That means people have placed you a little higher than themselves. When that happens, you must see better, you must think better and you must act in a more committed way than anybody else around you. Only then leadership will be a joyful and a fruitful process. Otherwise, it will be a ridiculous and <laughs> a great suffering, as I said, both for you and for everybody around you. So, you want to be a leader, don't try to be a leader. All you have to do is, every day, just count in a day how many people are you meeting. Let's say you're meeting ten people, make sure the ten people that you meet, you will make a positive impact on them every day. You become a leader. It doesn't matter, you're not elected or selected, but every day whoever you meet, ensure that you make a positive impact, then you become a leader. You make a negative impact, you will be an unfortunate human being. You let it pass by, well, life will pass by.